Okay, so this is our problem number two for staggered connection. Determine the design and allowable strength for the channel as shown in the figure. The holes are for 16 millimeter diameter bolts. So, uh, sod natin yung effective hole diameter. So, if this is 16 millimeter diameter bolt, so mag add tayo ng 4. So, magiging tong uh, 20 millimeter diameter hole. And then, this is the connection. Ito naman yung mga pitch natin. And yung pitch natin is 75. So, wala naman tayong problema sa ano eh, flange. Kasi, hindi naman na siya nakakonect. Wala naman ng butas dito. So, hindi na natin kailangan pang isolve yung um, gross, or sorry, yung gauge uh, distance dito. Okay? Pero, kailangan pa rin natin isolve yung um, X bar natin. So, that is the distance of the centroids with respect to the plane of connection. So, this is the X bar. At yun yung gagamitin natin para sa ating area net. Para makuha yung effective net area. Okay? So, solve natin X bar. So, hati natin yung area natin. So, itong area na to. Ayan. Saka, itong area na to. Okay? So, area 1 is equivalent to 70 multiplied by 8 then multiplied by 2 kasi dalawa yung ating um, flange. So, 70 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 2. Yes? Ang thickness ng web kasi is 10. Ang thickness naman ng flange is 8. So, 1, uh, 1, 120. So, 1, 120 millimeter squared. And then, ang x1 niya, okay, ang x1 niya is kalahati ng 70. So, that is 35 millimeters. Next, area 2. Ang area 2 natin, ang total nito is 151. Okay. Kaso, imamainan natin yung thickness ng ating, ano, ng ating um, flange. Okay. So, ang area 1 natin is 151 minus 16. That is the thickness of the two flanges. Then, multiplied by the thickness of the web. That is 10. So, 151 minus 16 multiplied by 10. So, 1,350 millimeter squared. And then, X2, kalahati ng thickness ng So, yung ating X2 is kalahati ng thickness ng ating ano, web. So, that is 10 over 2. So, 5 millimeters. So, masolve na natin yung X bar. Okay. So, X bar is A multiplied by 35 plus B multiplied by 5. Then, over A plus B. Okay. So, ang A natin is 1,120. Ang B natin is 1,350. So, 18.603. So, 18.603 millimeters. Okay. So, ngayon, punta tayo sa LRFD. Solve natin yung sa yield failure. So, yielding. Ang phi sub t natin dito is equivalent to 0.90. Pn is equivalent to Fy multiplied by Ag. So, meron naman tayong Ag dyan. So, ang ating Pn is equivalent to what? Okay. So, dito natin ilagay yung Pn natin. And then, ito naman is phi sub Pn. A phi sub t Pn. Okay. So, 2465 times 248 then divided by 1000. So, 611.32 kilo newton. And then, yung design strength niya is 550.1 Okay, so, 0.19 na lang. So, 0.19 kilo newton. Ayan. Okay. So, ngayon naman, isolve natin yung sa fracture failure. So, uh, V sub T is equivalent to 0.75 kN. So, we don't need to, ano naman eh, make it a plate. Okay? So, dito na lang tayo mag-focus. So, ito yung mga uh, failure path. So, this is failure path A. 
and this is failure path B. Yan. Okay. So ngayon, um, pwede naman natin gamitin yung ano yung with net or yung ano, uh, gagawin muna natin siyang with cross. Okay? So gawin naman natin yung ano, yung sa area. Okay? So at failure pat A. So ang gawin natin diyan, area net. Okay? Area net is equivalent to area G. So that is 2 4 65. Then, minus isang hole. Okay? So, ano ba yung hole natin? So, 20 millimeters, di ba? Then, multiplied natin ang thickness. So, yung hole natin is nasa web. So, ang thickness na gagamitin natin is 10 millimeters. So, this is area net 1. So, 2465. Then, minus 10. Ah, uh, minus 20 multiplied by 10. So, 2265. 2265 millimeter squared. Next, At failure, pat, B. So, area net 2 is equivalent to AG, 2465. And then, i-minus natin lahat ng, ano, ng uh, diameter hole. Okay? So, ilan ba yun? Dalawa. Okay? So, 2 multiplied by 20. Then, yung thickness. And then, saka natin i-add lahat ng um, staggered uh, connection. So, isa lang naman, di ba? Ito lang. So, ngayon, S is 50. So, 50 squared over 4 multiplied by G. Ang G niya is, um, okay, 75. Okay? Ayan. Then, multiply natin ng thickness. Okay? So, 2, 4, 65 minus 2 times 20 multiplied by 10. And then, uh, plus... Okay, uh, 50 squared, okay, um, yes, over 4 multiplied by 75, okay, multiplied by 10. So, 2148, so 2148.33. Okay, so ito yung nag-govern sa dalawang area. So, makukuha natin yung ano, fracture failure. So, PN is equivalent to FU. Multiplied by AE. Okay. So, solve natin yung U. So, that is 1 minus X bar over L. Ang length of connection natin is, ilan? 1, 2, 3, 4, no? So, 4 times 50. Ayan. So, 200. So, ang ating U is equivalent to 1 minus X bar, 18.603 over length of, ano? Connection, which is 200. So, 0.91. So, 0.91. Okay? So, masob natin yung PN natin. So, 400 multiplied by AE, which is equivalent to 0.91 of AN, which is 2148.33. Yan. Then, divided by 1000. So, 781.91. So, 781.99. Okay? Kilo Newton. So, ang ating design is strength under fracture failure is equivalent to, okay, multiplied by 0.75. So, 586. 0.49. Kilo Newton. Yeah. Okay. So, next. Okay, tapos tayo sa lahat ng ano na pag-solve sa uh, yielding and fracture. So, ngayon, ano napansin natin? Yung ating ano, uh, failure sa ating yielding is nakakuha ng strength na 550.19 which is less than pa sa failure natin sa staggered connection. Di ba? So, ibig sabihin dito, ang magkocontrol na failure is sa yielding. So, ibig sabihin, mas mahina pa yung sa yielding kaysa sa staggered connection. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Okay? Kaya ito yung kagandahan ng, ano eh, ng staggered connection. Uh, mas malakas yung ano, strength niya doon sa failure na yun kaysa doon sa yielding. Okay, so anyway, solve naman natin yung sa ASD. So, 1 para sa yielding. So, uh, sigma sub t is equivalent to 1.67. So, ito yung ating allowable strength. So, 611.32 over 1.67. So, 366.06. 
kilo newton next sa number 2 okay sa fracture failure so ang ating ano um, omega is equivalent to 2.0 So, ang ating design, uh, or sorry, allowable strength under failure fracture sa ASD is, okay, ano bang PN? 781.99 over 2. So, 390, okay, so 391 na yan. So, 391 kilo newton. So, therefore, yung ating design strength sa LRFD is equivalent to 550.99. 19 kN at yung ating allowable is strength sa ASD is equivalent to 366.06 kN. Ayun. Okay, so dito natin na-realize na uh, kung gaano kaganda ang staggered connection at nakakuha tayo ng maximum safe value sa yielding imbis doon sa fracture failure. Okay? So ayan, ribihin lang natin. Wala naman tayo dito ano ano, ginawang ano, uh, pag straight nung ano, pag straight nung uh, plate or sorry nung ating ano, si channel para maging plate. Then dito sa ano, sa area. So, uh, game, sige, check rin natin gamit yung sa with cross. So ano bang with cross natin dito? Okay, so checking lang to ha. So ang ating with cross is equivalent to what? Okay. So, ito kasi nga hanapin natin yung kanyang uh, median line. Okay? So, ang median line natin ngayon dito is what? Ito para makuha to magma-minus tayo ng tig kalahati ng 8 millimeters So, uh, dalawa yun. So, 8 millimeters na siya. Hindi ba? So, ilan to? 200 ba to? Sorry, 151. Okay? Ito, 151. So, double check natin. So, 38 times 2 plus 75. Okay. So, 151. And then, minus dalawang tick, uh, dalawang tick kalahati ng thickness ng plunge, which is 8 millimeters. So, 8 millimeters. Then, plus natin yung dalawang, ano na to, line. Which is what? 70 minus kalahati ng, ano, ng 10 millimeters. So, 70 minus 10 over 2. Then, multiplied by 2. Kasi, dalawa. So, ito yung ating with cross. 151 minus 8, then plus um, 70 minus 5, that is 10 over 2, then multiplied by 2. So, 273. Ito yung with cross natin. So, para dito, sa WN1, so failure path A, okay, ang with cross natin is 273, then minus isang ano, Um, isang diameter lang, no? So, ilan yun? 20. Okay? So, 273 minus 20. So, 253. Ayan. Okay? Ah, yes. Hindi rin pala natin pwedeng gamitin, no? Okay? Ito pala pwedeng gamitin rin to. Kasi magkaiba nga yung, ano, yung uh, thickness nila. Okay? So, ang mangyayari dyan talaga is ito pwedeng gamitin yan. Ayan. So, yung with cross na to, ang mangyari talaga kasi is, ito na lang talaga yung best. Okay, ito yung best solution talaga dyan. Yung with uh, cross, uh, sorry, yung cross area, dun yung mamayas itong mga butas na to. Okay, so hindi natin pwedeng gamitin ito. Okay, ayan. So, na-realize natin, di ba? Mas applicable yung ganitong um, solution. Kaya nga, sabi ko sa inyo, In, uh, pwede kasi magbago yung solution natin dito sa equation na to. Hindi lang siya laging ganyan. So, ito kasi applicable lang talaga kapag constant yung thickness. E eh, dito sa ating problem number 2, binago ko, pinag-iba ko yung thickness nila. Kaya ganyan yung mangyayari sa solution natin for the failure path. Anyway, tiniscuss pa rin naman natin yung gantong solution sa angle bar or sa constant thickness. Okay? So, this is our problem number two for the staggered connection. So, thank you for watching. Bye!